Today I'm going to read Peace at Last. The book is written by Jill Murphy and you can tell from the picture on the cover that there are some bears in the story. Whilst I'm reading, I want you to think about first, next and last. This is called sequencing. What happens first in the story? What happens next? And what happens last? We'll have a little quiz at the end of the video. Let's read the blurb to find out more about the story. The hour was late and Mr. Bear was tired, but he could not sleep, however he tried and wherever he tried. A bear who just can't sleep. Oh, the poor bear. Let's read the story to see if he manages to get any bit of sleep at all. The hour was late. Mr. Bear was tired. Mrs. Bear was tired. And Baby Bear was tired. So they all went to bed. Mrs. Bear fell asleep. Mr. Bear didn't. Mrs. Bear began to snore. <coughs> went Mrs. Bear. <coughs> oh no, said Mr. Bear. I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in Baby Bear's room. Baby Bear was not asleep either. He was lying in bed pretending to be an aeroplane. Meow, went Baby Bear. Meow, meow. Oh no, said Mr. Bear. I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in the living room. Tick tock went the living room clock. Tick tock, tick tock, cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh no, said Mr. Bear. I can't stand this. So he went off to sleep in the kitchen. Drip, drip went the leaky kitchen tap. Hmm, went the refrigerator. Oh no, said Mr. Bear. I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in the garden. Well, you would not believe what noises there are in the garden at night. Too much too, went the owl. Snuff, snuff, went the hedgehog. Meow, sang the cats on the wall. Oh no, said Mr. Bear, I can't stand this. So he went off to sleep in the car. It was cold in the car and uncomfortable. But Mr. Bear was so tired that he didn't notice. He was just falling to sleep when all the birds started to sing. And the sun peeped in at the window. Tweet, tweet went the birds. Shine, shine went the sun. Oh no, said Mr. Bear. I can't stand this. So he got up and went back into the house. In the house, Baby Bear was fast asleep. And Mrs. Bear had turned over and wasn't snoring anymore. Mr. Bear got into bed and closed his eyes. Peace at last, he said to himself. <coughs> Brrr, went the alarm clock. Brrr. Mrs. Bear sat up and rubbed her eyes. Good morning, dear, she said. Did you sleep well? 
Not very well, dear, yawned Mr. Bear. Never mind, said Mrs. Bear. I'll bring you a nice cup of tea. And she did. The end. Remember I asked you to think about the sequencing of the story. What happened first, next and last. Now I'm going to show you three pictures and we'll try to sequence them. First I can see a picture of Mr. Bear lying in the garden. I can see a picture of all the bear family sitting on the couch. They look tired. And I can also see a picture of the three bears in bed. Mrs. Bear has a cup of tea and Baby Bear has some letters and Mr. Bear still looks tired. So, can you sequence them in the right order? Well, this picture was first, wasn't it? The bears got tired and they decided it was time for bed. What came next? Do you know? Yes, it's this picture. Mr. Bear couldn't sleep. He even tried to sleep out in the garden, but there was too many noises out there too. And the last picture? Well, it must be this one. It's morning time and Mrs. Bear and Baby Bear are up and wide awake and poor Mr. Bear still looks tired. I hope he gets some good sleep tonight. He needs it.